Well, good morning, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Grumman Pilot's YouTube channel. And we're going to revisit the bevel stack in our front nose wheel today. And by setting the proper uh, spring tension on that bevel stack, it determines how much side pull is needed to move the front tire. Now, you know, that works out really well when you're pulling the airplane around on the ground or maybe when you're trying to back it up without a tow bar. However, there are some other ramifications that we're going to see with some video from flight, and this is why you want to make sure you have the proper nose tension on that bevel stack. So now, let's go talk about the bevel stack. We would like to ask you please subscribe, hit the like button, and hit the notify to stay current with our content. Now we've talked about bevel stacks before. This is the drawing that we did in Maui in uh, 2018 when there was a question on the Grumman gang. So I had Ken draw this out in my notebook. We took a picture, we sent it to Mark, and we got it out to the fleet. Now the other place you can get the same information is in the maintenance manual. And it tells you how to do a three bevel, a four bevel washer stack keeping in mind that our bevel washers are a little thicker now than they were in the early days. But if you don't have them proper, here's what can happen. You'll be flying your airplane and your front nose wheel will be too loose and it will align itself in the prop wash from the propeller. And it'll fly like that just fine if you're in formation. It'll look kind of silly, but when you go to land, it's going to jerk the tire because it's going to have to straighten out from that crooked position when you go to take off and as you can see right here i'd like to thank dusty fair out in california for sending me this video but here is the nose wheel crooked on takeoff now what he's going to do next is he's going to go ahead and get some new bevels he's going to take it all apart put it all together properly and tension it and you'll find out that it's not going to do anything and as you can see here when he's landing it jerks pretty quickly when it goes to straighten out and as he remarks it can't be good for the system to have that happen so ladies and gentlemen we hope you found all this useful and informative about proper tensions on your bevel stack thanks so much for watching and have a great day flying your grumman